Buenos Aires, Tutti. Still in Palermo, having a great time at the uh, um, cathedral, as a matter of fact, Cathedral of uh, Palermo, with the big uh, Duomo at the, in the, the background there. Um, just been wandering around, taking some night photos uh, again. Um, so uh, it's really challenging <laughs> to find a little peaceful place where there isn't uh, a lot of noise, uh, including the birds, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, um, tonight I, I figured I'd talk about uh, why I chose Palermo in particular. And, and really, uh, the thing that I find interesting about travel is that uh, travel's really about, when it comes down to it, it's a, when you choose where to travel, it's all about stories, right? Everything from uh, you heard about this great place to you know, um, see a great view or uh, some historic um, uh, landmark of some kind to even something as silly as like the world's largest ball of yarn, right? It's always about like some indicator, some connection with it, some story. Um, now, being a big history buff, um, these stories uh, for me have always been like, you know, what's been going on and historical significance and things like that and when I was researching places that I wanted to go and I wanted to hang out for a, a longer period of time um, Italy obviously uh, came up a lot um, and I have been to Italy before so um, one of the things that I, I wanted to do was come to some spot in Italy that I hadn't been and the more uh, you know stories I, I read and research I did about Italy I kept coming back to uh, Sicily in particular and Sicily has got some stories. I mean first off they've been invaded by pretty much everybody um, starting with the Greeks to Carthaginians to the Romans to the Moors to the Normans um, to uh, the Moorish Spanish to um, like pretty much everyone and the culture itself um, it has been uh, built on with each of these uh, um, new sets of people that have been, you know, ruling the place. And, uh, for example, um, the, a lot of these churches here uh, were set up in the, um, you know, the 10 hundreds, 11 hundreds. And um, at the time, they would have been like Norman um, uh, castles and Norman cathedrals. And then um, they, they uh, acquired some uh, Arabian architecture and some Spanish architecture and some Renaissance Italian uh, architecture and, and, and the list goes on and so all of these places are these amalgams and what makes me what really stands out as I wander around this old city including all these these cool little alleyways and and um, and all these old old streets is that civilization is patient it cities are patient and they just grow um, and they become what they become and they have lots of time to do it and this is the type of, of places that you get including the fact that I'm standing outside like a fast food place that <laughs> that advertises free Wi-Fi you know and gelato over there which I think I'm gonna see if they're still open anyway Having a great time. Hope everyone else is doing well. I'm gonna try that again when these guys are gone. Anyway, I'm still having a great time. I hope everyone at home is doing well. I will talk to everyone tomorrow. Buona notte.